Hello, welcome back to another exciting tutorial with me, Roy Fozzi. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a um, heat distortion effect. So I've got these tips from a game dev, a game art developer, which is uh, I found it on the pet, her pet, Patreon page, Minions Art, and uh, she posts this very neat. Uh, very neat tips on how to create unity heat distortion effect so basically you create a fire particle and then create a new particle in front of that fire and then we put a glass refraction material from the standard asset so i'm going to show you how to do this step by step uh, in this video so let's go back to unity and here i've uh, i have uh, download the unity uh, particle pack so a thing you can download it from asset store and if you go to the asset store you can just type unity particle pack and you can download this one and then you need to also import your standard assets standard assets effects okay i have already done that here as you can see i have the effects uh, imported so now let's create a scene so i'm going just to create a first a plane 3d object plane and uh, let's reset the value so it starts from the middle and i'm going to move the camera forward okay like that and i'm going to create a material This is the ground material and I'm going to create a new material distortion material let's create a new folder to make this tidier hit distortion and then I'm going to put all of the needed material inside that folder here so we can just focus on this folder and for the gun I'm going to change the color to a slightly brownish color or maybe green color so it, it, it's it looks more like a grass and I'm going to assign this to the object here and let's create a couple cube and I'm going to scale the cube on the X axis to what uh, 2.5 and on the Y I'm going to make a smaller value 0.3 and also the 0.3 and I'm going to scale this all together now to make a smaller wooden block here and put it down <coughs> and let's rotate this a bit like this and then I'm going to move this down make sure it's global so and then I'm going to duplicate this and then rotate this a bit duplicate this again rotate this a bit duplicate again yeah and then I'm going to move the stuffs around like this so okay so now we have some sort of wood i think we need one more so i'm going to duplicate this one more and then uh, rotate to the side here okay and then i'm going to select all of this and let's create a new wood material and let's change this to a brown color a woodish brown maybe like this something like this and then let's just apply this all to the subject here and now I'm going to go to the effects folder and I'm going to choose the flame effects oh sorry not this one I think I think a flames particle effect this one is it I'm not sure. Yeah, that one. Yes, you can see we have a particle. 
this, this is quite <laughs> intense but I think it should be okay so and if there's smoke effect I'm going to put also a smoke effect so I'm going to put it in the middle just like the fire so it sits together with the fire yeah, something like this and make this as the child of the flame so it will be played together if we select the flame and for the smoke effect I'm going to disable the point light because it, it, it kind of distracts okay so now we have a wood fire object and let's create a new particle and for this particle let's put this in front of the uh, in the middle of the particle but we are going to change uh, we are going to create a new material and let's go to our heat distortion and under the distortion we are going to choose the glass I think it's on custom no effects effects glass and then refraction I'm not sure which okay sorry I have to check this first uh, before I have to try okay that's one correct so let's use this effects glass stain bomb distort and uh, I'm going to choose this blood drops or maybe this one bullet holes for the distortion like this and then we are going to first let's just use a standard sprite so we can see our particle okay that is the size of our particle and makes the lifetime shorter and also the speed the slower slower speed and for the shape we can make the radius smaller and if you want to you can make the emission uh, in more intense make it 20 rates and then the most important things is to make sure the order in layer it's in front of our fire so right now our order in layer is on the same uh, value here so I'm going to make sure that this particle stays in front so make the value bigger maybe like 10 but you can just put it 1 or 10 or any number as long as it's greater than the particle flame particle effects and then let's drag the distortion to this particle here so there you go as you can see we have a uh, particle effect and if you if we go to the so I'm going to change the camera here and as you can see if I go to the back our distortion stays on front of our flame particle so for example if we go to this angle here or if we try to go to this angle here and then move the camera and go to the game view and then start to press play there you go you can see that our uh, uh, sorry, I, our distortion effect particle stays in front of the particle because we have changed the order in layer value. So make sure you do that, and you can change the distortion value if it's too strong. Make it less than five, uh, ten, for example, maybe five or six, and we have a lower distortion value or five maybe. Just play around with the values and until you get the result that you you wanted that you like okay so I hope you find this tutorial uh, useful and remember uh, check her page out and become a patron if you if you if you have the <laughs> budget uh, because she put a lot of uh, great tips for unity uh, game development and I'll see you on the next episode bye